What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another drone tech tip. Now, last week I put out a video that showed you guys how to use the different types of hyperlapse modes on the Mavic Air 2. Now, after watching the video a few times, I noticed that I quickly brushed over the 8K mode, which was one of the biggest features and advancements of this drone. So in today's video, what I would like to do is do a little bit more in depth on how to use the 8K mode, what it looks like, how to set it up, and show you guys a few more examples of what those hyperlapses look like. So stick around. So jumping right into this, make sure you have your phone, your controller, and your drone all powered up, paired, and ready to go. Now you are gonna want to start with a full battery just because it could take some practice for you to kind of fly around and look about what uh, kind of shot that you're wanting to make with this. To get started, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to either tap on the film strip or the little uh, white rectangle just above the record button in order to change your shooting mode. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on the film strip and then you're gonna want to tap on the hyperlapse mode right there, and it's gonna bring you into hyperlapse mode. Now, right now, your probably default set is to 1080p, and we're gonna to wanna to change that over to 8K. So to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on the three little dots up in the top right-hand corner. We're gonna call those settings. Tap on that. And then you're gonna to want to, you're probably gonna to default to safety tab. You're gonna to want to come over to the camera tab and you can see right there at the top, it says photo type and you got shot frame format and resolution. You're gonna want to change your resolution over to 8K. Now, if you are into raw shooting format so you can have that better flexibility in post-production, this is also a good time to change over the photo type over from JPEG into raw, which will allow you to give that flexibility. So we're gonna change it to raw as well. Just be sure when you do raw and 8K that you have enough storage space because those two combined equals large files. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and tap on the left side of the screen, then choose the type of hyperlapse shooting mode that you want from circle, free, whatever. If you're unfamiliar with those modes, you can check out the video that I posted last week. I'll link that up in the top right hand corner. That goes through and just breaks down each one of those hyperlapse modes and kind of gives you a quick at a glance how to set it up quickly, how to use it uh, on that video. So go ahead and check that out. now. With 8K, unlike 1080p, the six second interval is the minimum that you can go on 8K. And the problem with that is if you have a lot of movement or a lot of change, because a lot can change within six seconds, you may result in some jittery or some choppy playback footage. So just make things as smooth as they can be. Make sure like wind and things like that as smooth as it can be just to make sure that your AK is as smooth as it can. Like I said, we're gonna be using course lock for today's demonstration. So I've got the drone in the air now, so it allowed me to choose course lock. Some of them you may not be able to select while the drone is on the ground, so you may need to launch it to select the mode. So tap on course lock. Again, we are doing the six second interval because that's the, mini the minimum. Five second length, sure. And then we'll do a 1.3 miles per hour. Now the thing is with course lock is what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the drone to fly, we're gonna face the drone we want it to fly first. So we've got it pointed forward right now. That's the direction I want it to fly. And then I'm gonna tap on where it says unlock direction. I'm gonna tap on locked. And you can see that it's gonna take 12 minutes and 30 seconds and shoot 125 frames. But I don't wanna just shoot straight. I'm actually gonna rotate the camera here about like that. And then once you've got all of your settings, go ahead and tap on record. And you can see that the hyperlapse is starting and you're gonna to want to wait just till that's finished. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure it's not gonna hit anything or nothing's gonna get in the way or anything like that. Make sure you don't lose signal because if you do lose signal in the middle of the hyperlapse, it will stop it. Create whatever video it can if it was able to and then it's gonna to return to home. So just keep an eye on it and make sure that you can see the drone. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish and then come back once it's done. Once the hyperlapse has completed, you can access the files in a couple of different ways. First being still in the app, right below the record button, go ahead and click on the play button. And that's gonna show you the files that are currently stored on the drone. And you can see that some of them have a not downloaded flag. But if we tap on one, we can play it back. We can view whatever hyperlapse we just shot or whatever shot we just did. But if we try to go back and try to download it, it says unable to download files with a resolution 8K to phone. Because these are 8K resolution files, you cannot directly download them from the app. Bringing us into our second method is you will need to either pull the micro SD card out or plug the drone in to the computer with the USB cable in order to pull those files off of it. However, if you were to shoot hyperlapses in the 1080p version, 
you'd be able to download them directly from the app and then upload them to any of your social media platforms. But with the 8K, you do need to pull the files off the drone first to a computer, prepare them, and then upload them to wherever you want. So just keep that in mind. The other thing is, is because the 8K Hyperlapse does consist of 448 megapixel images stitched together per frame, there have been reports of certain video players, probably like VLC and some other ones, that are having issues playing back the full resolution. It's only playing back two out of the four frames. Now I use Adobe Premiere to uh, view or edit all of my photos or videos. And so it works really well. Adobe is one of the few that work really well. So you can bring them into Premiere. I can export them and actually view the, the file properly. So you may want to do some research if you're having some trouble with the video playback of your 8K hyperlapses. Overall, the 8K shooting is really fun to play around with and you can get some really cool shots with just a little bit of practice. Now, there are some rumors out there that DJI may be releasing a firmware update to give us 4K and 2.K shooting modes, which again will just add to the feature set that this drone offers and give us a little bit more flexibility and control on the types of videos that we want to create. So hopefully that is a thing. Again, that is all speculation. We'll definitely take a look. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's drone tech tip. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it, if you got something out of it, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and a share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.